Welcome to Coffee Break, five minutes with God, five minutes in the Word of God, five minutes designed to taste and see that the Lord is good. I'm in Psalms, Psalm number 34. We resume our study in verse 9. O fear the Lord, ye his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. God may not give us luxury. He does not promise to give us luxury. But he will give us what we need if we respect him, fear him, love him, and live, <clears throat> and as a result, live the, the correct way. Live according to scripture and confess when we fail. He promises that he will give us what we need for as long as we need it. We will have everything that we need if we seek first his kingdom and his righteousness. Everything else will be added unto us. That's a promise from God. Not everything we want, but everything that we need for as long as he wants us to live. Verse 10. The young lions do lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not lack any good thing. And God decides what good things are really good things for us. Sometimes having the things that the world says are good really aren't good for us. And God doesn't promise to give us what we think is good. He promises to give us what he knows is good. 11. Come, ye children, hearken unto me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. It is the duty of every Christian parent to teach their sons and daughters about God and about the importance of respecting God and living for God. It is the duty of every parent to teach their child to live the right way, to know that the Bible is the written word of God without errors. Parents who say, well, I don't teach my children about Jesus. I'm going to let them decide for themselves when they are adults. You know, that's totally out of God's will. That's completely wrong. Because the Bible says, train up a child in the way that they should go. And here, God teaches again. That's parents' job. You're out of God's will. You're going to answer to God if you fail to do that. 12. What man is he that desireth life and loveth many days that he may see good? We cannot determine the length of our life, that's God's business. But to a degree, we can determine the quality of our life. God's word teaches, teaches us how to, to have a good quality of life. God's word teaches us how to have, as Jesus put it, life abundantly. God's word teaches us how to die safely. It also teaches us how to live abundantly. And it comes down to a close walk with God through Jesus Christ, spending time with him in the word and in prayer every day and confessing when we fail. 13, keep thy tongue from evil and thy lips from speaking guile. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. God says stay away from bad. But that's not enough. He also says do good. It's really very simple. If you want to experience the good life, you must spend your time doing good things for the glory of God. And I'm out of time. Study further with me at thebibleversebyverse.com, the whole counsel of God, Genesis through Revelation, using my audio Bible messages. And if you would like to be a part of this ministry, you can be by praying for me, praying for the Word of God. Also, take a break from studying at thebibleversebyverse.com. Go to the front page, click the donate button, and prayerfully give as the Lord may lead. See you next time.